want to congratulate you if you've just purchased a new vessel. For some of you, it may be a rib, others a sailboat, or even maybe perhaps a motorboat. And I'm sure we're all dead keen to get out on the water and enjoy this new vessel, especially now the weather's started to improve. But have you given any thought to what else you might need to make sure that your time afloat is a safe and enjoyable one? Believe it or not, there's absolutely no requirements making you carry any specific safety equipment. But we at Ocean Safety have put some thoughts and ideas together on a suggested recommended list of items for you to consider to make sure that your time you can relax and enjoy safe in the knowledge that you've given good thought to different scenarios that could happen. Top of my list would actually be life jackets. Are you carrying any? And do you have enough for everybody on board? As the boat owner, everybody's safety on your vessel is your responsibility. So it's really important that you have the ability to offer everybody a life jacket. Just remember when you have your life jackets, you need to get them serviced and checked annually. Do you have a VHF radio available to you? It's all well and good having a mobile phone, but I'll guarantee when you need it for an emergency, you'll have either run out of battery or you'll have no signal. Don't forget you will have spent all day taking cool videos, listening to music and enjoying yourself. The VHF radio will give you peace of mind that you can contact the emergency services when you need them. You will need to call on VHF channel 16 and it's for boat emergencies and for medical emergencies. You're going to need some information though. You'll need to know your boat name, how many people are on board, where you are and what the emergency is. Now, speaking of medical emergencies, some are very easy to manage just with a simple medical kit on board your boat. Personal medication needs to be carried by the individual, but again, don't forget as the boat owner, you're responsible for the safety of your guests on board. So you need to be made aware of any medical conditions or medication that anybody may be taking. But simple basics such as antihistamines, painkillers, plasters, antiseptic wipes and some dressings and you'll be pretty good for a whole multitude of issues that you may have to deal with. Another suggestion for people to carry is to have a knife on board. With the ever increasing debris in our water, it's super easy to foul a propeller with some rope. So to have the ability to be able to cut it free so that you can get control of your boat and therefore your safety is really important. So don't forget. And then finally, two other items that we thought you should have access to are flares and a horseshoe. Flares are really good at pinpointing your location and raising an emergency should you be caught out at night time, for example. You should keep your flares in a watertight container and it's really useful to have a hard-wearing leather gardening glove in the top just so that should you need to handle them, you can do so safely. Horseshoes are really good, but they're quite bulky and they're hard to store. So another option would be an inflatable horseshoe. These are thrown into the water to locate a man overboard. So if you sail away and you reposition your boat to come and get them, you can keep an eye on the location of the person in the water at all times. As I said, there are absolutely no rules that require you to carry any specific equipment, but these are all good ideas to think about and consider so that you can relax and enjoy your time on the water, having confidence that you've thought about potential problems. If you want to discuss or seek any further advice, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Ocean Safety. We want you to enjoy your season ahead safely. Thank you.